Okay, number 11. Why'd you do that? Uh, I'm going to group the videos on YouTube in groups of five. Oh. So if you need 14, problem number 14, you don't have to start at the beginning and watch. You can just click on 11 through 15. Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> All right, number 11. Negative 3 plus 4, x minus 1, greater than x plus 5, or 4x plus 5, x plus 4, greater than x plus 4. All right, what do we do first, Jay? Distribute. Maybe Jay will see this one day. Combine some like terms. X is greater than four. x is greater than 3, so if we put this on a number line, 3, 4, greater than both of these, right? Wouldn't that include all the answers? If it was interval notation, it would be from 3 to infinity, not including the 3. Open circle. Why? What is your question? Why is it like not including the three? Yeah, because it's just x is greater than three. Oh, so it's open circle, right? That's mm -hmm. why it doesn't include the three. Questions on eleven? Twelve. Same kind of thing. one separately. We'll distribute the 4. 4x four minus 4 less than x plus 5. points they want us to write the equation. They don't tell us what form, so we'll do all three. Okay. Um, what do we need to write the equation of a line? Slope. Slope, slope and a point, right? So we've got to find the slope. Remember the formula for slope? 
Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. If you get uh, nervous during the exam and you can't remember this formula, which one goes on top, the X's or the Y's, I'm not going to be able to help you, right? You're just going to have to wise up. Right? I can't help you. Okay. So, uh, if you want, you can label your points. This will be our first point, so we'll call this X1, Y1. We'll call this X2, Y2. First point gets the 1's, second point gets the 2's. Fill it in, you get negative 5 minus 3 over 5 minus 9. Negative 8 over negative 4, 2. Are we okay with that? Slope is 2. So we got a point and a slope now. What form should I go to to write this equation? Point slope. We have a point and a slope. So start with point slope form. Y minus Y1 equals M X minus X1. So we'll plug in our X1, Y1, and we'll plug in our M. So it'll be Y minus 3 equals 2 X minus 9. If they want it in point slope form, you're done. Suppose they want it in slope intercept form. What's slope intercept form? Y equals mx plus b, right? So you got to get the y by itself, basically. So we'll distribute the two, and then we'll add the three over. Y equals two x minus fifteen. Mm -hmm. Slope intercept form. Questions on that? What's the last form that we haven't done yet? Standard. Standard form. What's standard form? AX plus BY equals C. AX plus BY equals C. So I've got to get the X and Y on the left hand side. Okay, so we'll subtract the 2X over. So we'll end up with negative 2X plus Y is equal to negative 15. And then there's a rule that says that A value has to be greater than zero. So we will multiply everything by negative one. So we'll end up with 2x minus y is equal to 15. What was the formula for standard form? Standard form is ax plus by is equal to c. The x's and the y's have to be on the left and the constant on the right. The rules are a has to be greater than zero and a, b, and c need to be integers. We're good here. Integers, no fractions, no decimals. Questions on number 13? On the exam, they're going to ask for all three forms. So you need, that. you need to know how to do all three forms. Start with point slope and then move stuff around until you get it in the form they want. Okay? Okay. 14. Anybody notice something strange about the uh, the way 13 and 14 are worded? One word change. Or no. Which is an equation of the line through the points? It what does it sound like? A multiple choice. Sounds like multiple choice, doesn't it? Yeah, the review was supposed to be multiple choice, but I took all the multiple choice answers out. Okay. They gave us two points. Want us to write the equation? We need to find the slope. So m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that gives us 9 minus 5 over 1 minus 9. 4 over negative 8. So it's negative 1 half. There's my slope. All right, let's put this in slope intercept form. No, we'll do all three again. We'll end up with fractions that work out So we're going to always start with point slope. So that'll give us y minus 5 is equal to a negative 1 half 
x minus 9. There's point slope form. And then we'll move it into slope intercept. So I've got to distribute y minus 5 is equal to negative 1 half x plus 9 halves. And add the 5 over plus 10 halves. Common denominators. So that will give us y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 19 halves. Slope intercept. And if we put it in standard form, the x's and y's have to be on the left, so we'll add this over. So I have 1 half x plus y is equal to 19 halves. My a is positive, but I need integers. So fix that, multiply everything by what? Two. A 2. So that will give me 1x plus 2y is equal to 19. Standard form. So there's the equation of the line that goes through those two points, 9, 5, and 1, 9. And I gave you all three forms. Questions? Questions on number 14. Yes, sir. So whenever um, I multiply the two, yes. both sides, yes. you just use the denominator whenever it has a denominator? Well, remember we're multiplying by like 2 over 1, right? Yes, sir. So the 2's would end up canceling out, so you'd end up with 19 over 1. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Other questions on 14? All right. Questions on that? 